What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Gears of War Execution. Today we're playing on Hotel. I want to talk about a few things today, which is the DLC, the maps that's going to come out on uh, Horde mode, the new maps. Well, I don't know much about them, to be honest, besides what they mentioned. And I want to talk about the classic list. I also want to talk about YouTube and what's happening with this channel currently. Well, I'm, I seem to be having a bit of issues uh, with YouTube. Um, they told me basically to remove all my videos, not the ones that I posted recently, but all my montages, all my clips or whatever I used to have from before. And uh, they said, um, if I don't remove them, I'm going to get third strike and they're going to ban me for good. Even though the first two strikes was not my fault, it actually belonged to some other guy. I don't know, it says some other channel. I try to uh, tell them like, Hey guys, it's not me. I sent them an email. I, I went through the processes. They told me to go through the process and nothing whatsoever. I still haven't received an email from them. I hope to hear from them and get this issue resolved. And so I can get my clips back on this channel again. Because a lot of people are wondering like, Hey man, I'm hearing you, especially for all my new subscribers. They, they're saying, oh, I heard you, you're a Call of Duty Gears of War player from way back. And you had montages and stuff, but I don't see any. Well, now you know why. This map reminds me a lot of Mansion. I'm not sure if uh, it's the same or the, it's different. I don't. I can't exactly tell. But every time I play this map, that's the map I always think about. And it's actually a pretty awesome map. It's my favorite so far. I also love Gridlock. I think that's personally my favorite map of all Gears games. Uh, well, I used to enjoy the most canals on Gears One. But Gears 2 canals are not so much. Uh, I hope they bring that one back in a DLC content in the near future. But I'm not holding out for it. Anyways, uh, this map basically you gotta control the power, the power weapon, which is like the sniper or the tug bow. Because if you control that weapon, you can actually see the guys who grab the boom shot from outside. They usually always come in and see like there, right down them straight away. And if you, they'll usually spawn at either the left side of the door or the right side of the door. So you just stay right in the middle and you just keep going back and forth, looking back and forth and see if they're coming. All you have to do is just stay alert and you, you'll be fine. Speaking of alert, I mean, I don't know if you guys ever have this before. I mean, you know, the other day I was walking in, this, uh, in the high street where I live. I live in the United Kingdom, by the way. I'm Dutch. But <clears throat> as I was walking, there were a bunch of girls standing on the other side. I was going to the cinema. Now, I don't know if you guys ever have this happen to you, but it was pretty embarrassing what happened to me. As I was walking out, I, I, you know when you walk past people, you put on swagger, like, you know, you just, you just, you just put this little swagger on, like, yo, what's up, you know? <laughs> As I was walking, I walked right into a door, and everybody was laughing. I didn't know what to do. And I had that voice play in my head that says, your face, goddammit, shoot me your shit. Oh, man, seriously, man, I, I don't know if you guys know about that person, but he's pretty known on YouTube now. He says the most hilarious thing ever. He's, he, ha he has this <coughs> Latino accent that goes like, The face, God damn it! Show me your shit! Anyways, yeah, um, as I was saying, I literally went face first. It's one of those glass doors that, you know, the slides open and, and it's just, I was not expecting it and uh, I feel pretty dumb. I'm pretty sure something happened to you guys that once in a while, you know, that makes you say, wow. I know people don't like admitting on the internet, but hey, I'm me. I'm just gonna say what I'm gonna say. Anyways, let's talk about the DLC and the upcoming update. The upcoming update, uh, well, I've seen on the Epic Firm, the, the guy Ferguson, he said they're looking into the, they're looking into the, the sawed-off shotgun. They never said they're gonna actually fix it or make the damage less, or I don't know, but they, he said looking into it, which means either A, they'll make a new classic playlist, you know, without sort of shotgun, or B, they'll just nerf the, shot, the, the gun and make it more on the playing field. But I sh I'm just gonna recommend, to, I'm j if I was epic, and I'm sure I'm not epic, I'm sure they'll do their job the way they do it, I would make it a pickup weapon. Make it a pickup weapon, so, and just keep it exactly the same thing. Let it be powerful, let it be everything the way it is right now. You know, that way, when people, when people pick that weapon, there's at least one person in the game that's running around with a sort of shotgun. Then you can at least, you know, say, okay, he has four bullets. He has to wait to respawn again, and it's not a big deal. I personally got used to playing 
against sort of shotgun people. Like right now, this guy had a sort of. All you gotta do is just stay away from them, make a nice big circle, and they'll panic and run out of cover or try to run into you from far away and you just shotgun them or lance them down. It is easy as that. Now, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I'm, I got used to it and I actually don't mind if it still stays in there or not because that's not my problem. I still get once in a while angry when people hide in corners with it, but hey, what can you do? Most likely they'll make a classic playlist and I hope they make a classic playlist because that way people will never be complaining about sort of anymore and we'll have a normal competition going on. But if, and I'm gonna say most likely if that happens, you're still gonna see a lot of people complain because this is Gears of War. There's always something they're gonna find. Just generally, this is how all first person shooters are, or third person shooter in this case. People always find something to complain, no matter what it is. I understand developers gotta look out for their fan base, but you can't please everyone, you know? There's always some guy or some way, some group that's not happy with how things are gonna be. Because I don't know if you guys remember the Gears of War 2 updates. The first update was okay, the second update completely ruined the whole game for me personally, and I never went back on after that. The game is coming to an end right now, and this is the last guy I take out. I went flawless, and flawless is basically when you haven't died. I mean, on execution, that's pretty decent. Uh, I haven't played horde mode yet, so please, guys, if you guys want to play tonight, or tomorrow, or this weekend, or next weekend, just hit me up. Thanks for watching once again.